So we're looking at coding a F30 BMW. This particular one doesn't have Bluetooth music, so enhanced Bluetooth. It does Bluetooth calling, as you can see there. It's connected to this phone, but it doesn't have any audio functionality for music. So at the moment, we're just on here, following some instructions we found online. Uh, got the car OBD port there connected to this laptop with an ethernet. Um, and we're gonna take you through the process of getting Bluetooth to work. Uh, all your car needs is a com box. So I'm gonna be following the instructions that I found on the internet um, and I'll leave a link in the description. So I've just got them here by my side and we're gonna follow these instructions and see how it goes. So you need to connect to your car. Obviously I've already got it pre-wired. I'm not sure if this makes a difference, but I'm selecting it based on what I've read. You need to connect via VIN. Your car needs to come up here. And then hit connect. So it says connection established. And that's step one. The next step is to go to expert mode and hit coding. Then hit read, then hit save. Now I've saved it previously, so I'm just gonna overwrite that. Once you hit save, you can hit edit. Then you right click FA and hit calculate FP. It takes a few seconds. And bear in mind this is the first time I've done this just like it will probably be your first time so let's see how it goes so expand FA list on the left to sell per element so here's sell per, sell per element And then down here you need to find what you've got so I believe I need to change 6NH to 6NL so I've just verified that I did need to change it to 6NL and that is right for my particular car uh, obviously, for your car, you want to check the thread uh, that I'll have in the description. So once that is changed, you need to hit the Apply Changes button, which is this button here. Now, we need to right-click FA and calculate FP again. And now we need to save the new FA. Now we need to go to expert mode, VCM, and load the saved FA file. There we go. Right click on FA and calculate FP. Click on the VCM master tab. And click right FA FP. So once you've done that, you click read FAFP. Actually, in the instructions, it says 
click read FA FP VIN button, but I don't have that particular button. It's Reddit, so that's the final step of this part. So now that we've done step one, we need to go back to expert mode coding and hit read again. Then you right click FA, activate FA, uh, read SVT. Now you're looking for your head unit. So let's find it in this car. I believe it's HU entry because that is one of the listed ones on the forum. So connect. Right click on the head unit ECU, which is HU entry. And select code. You can see that the iDrive screen is resetting. Turn that down. Let's turn that radio off. Just stick it on here. Oh, interesting. It's now showing a uh, Bluetooth Bluetooth audio setting there, which was never there in the past. And there is an additional step, uh, which is repeating the previous step that we just did. Um, if you have a standalone com box, uh, which is CMB Media, if present. And this particular car does have CMB media. So we're going to repeat the previous step, which is right click and code for CMB media. I assume it's going to reset the I drive. Maybe not. Uh, so, let's have a little look on iDrive. I haven't turned the ignition off yet. We'll have a little look and see what's... Uh... It's just not connected. So we've just done the last step, which was coding CMB media. Uh, as you can see, it's now working. It's playing Bluetooth music, which this car never used to do. Um, all that we had to do after the last step was forget the phone from the Bluetooth menu on your phone and from the Bluetooth menu in the car and resync them. And that enabled us to enable the Bluetooth audio on the phone. Uh, and we also just shut the ignition off and turned it back on. Uh, after doing those things, the car's now got enhanced Bluetooth and it is working perfectly. <laughs>